I'm excited about it. I'm very excited, very excited. So, um, like I told you before, saying so, you know, the, the, the video clips and all that kind of stuff, we're going to do a little interview here with you, okay, to let these people get to know who you are, okay? Um, so, as you can see, light's strong, camera's rolling. I'm going to record this whole thing, okay. all right? And then after we get done, I'm going to edit it down, send it off to the producers and the directors that I work with, okay. and then based upon how well will they like you, they're going to decide to hire you. Wonderful. All right. Any questions before we go on? Not at all. All right. Um, first things first, let's have you introduce yourself. Go ahead and stand up for me. I'm going to have you look right into my camera here to your left. And go ahead, yep, make sure that looks good. Sure, <laughs> it does, it does. Go ahead and tell them your, uh, your name, Hi, your age. Hi, I'm Michelle Taylor. I'm 20 years old. Um, I'm from Florida. Cool. That, and brand new to the industry. Great, great. Have a seat. I didn't get a chance to ask the question. You already saw it from the, uh, <laughs> from the other ones, huh? That's good. All right, so 20 years old, huh? Yeah. All right, and you're excited to get started here? I really am. Cool. How long have you been thinking about doing this? Um, honest to God, not long at all. You know, just kind of thought it was a fun, interesting way to mm -hmm. go about making money. Okay. A, a very wild way of living. Sure. That's what I like. So. Are you are you a bit of a wild child? Yeah. Okay. I would say so. What does that mean? I know what it meant when I was growing up, but. In my opinion, a wild child means up for just about anything. Okay. Anything that sounds fun. Anything that's adrenaline pumping. Mm -hmm. Anything that's beneficial to myself. Mm -hmm. So that would be my definition of a wild child. Okay. Now, what things have you done so far that are like adrenaline pumping get you going? Um, adrenaline pumping. I mean, just about anything that gets adrenaline pumping. Like, I would, I would skydive. I haven't. Mm -hmm. But things like that. I mean, I haven't done much roller coasters. Mm -hmm. Um. Honestly, I haven't been able to do all that much yet to get myself going. I mean, this is definitely an adrenaline junkie type thing. Sure. Um, mm, I would say roller coasters. Maybe getting like piercings or like a tattoo. Okay. But uh, I've only, I only have piercings. Okay. So a little no, bit of pain. No um, tattoos yet? No tattoos yet. I'm not going to get tattoos. Great. I Don't was about tattoos. to say, please. Don't want tattoos. Don't do it. <laughs> I like the virgin skin. Yeah. But I like piercings. Okay. Yeah. What do you have pierced? I have my nose pierced and I have my leg bone pierced. Okay. And then I have uh, this pierced, this pierced, and then my normal holes. Okay. So not too much, just a little bit here and there. Did any of them hurt? Um, the one that hurt the most was my nose, mm -hmm. just because it made my eyes tear up constantly. Mm -hmm. um, my belly button, I tried to pierce myself when I was 13. So there was scar tissue. Yeah. And when I got it professionally done, it bled everywhere. But my nose definitely hurt much more than my belly button. Wow. Okay. But I mean, it was just the quick pain. It was it was gone right away. Now, was it the kind of pain like you anticipated it when they were getting ready to, to, to pierce the nose? You're like, okay, here we go. Holy shit, it's gonna hurt. You like build yourself up, and then it wasn't as bad as that was gonna be. Honestly, yeah. yeah. I built myself up for it like way too much, and then it happened, and I was like, oh, oh, that's it. I mean, it hurt, but I was really expecting a lot more than that. Sure. But yeah, just like you said, I, all I did was build myself up and made it worse for myself, which yeah. I do most of the time. Okay. You never know what you're getting yourself into. Everybody does. Yeah, you never it's know natural, what to you know. Exactly. So now let me ask you this. Now this is adrenaline pumping. What's going through your head right now? Right now, what's going through my head is all the benefits I can get from this. Okay. Um, the newness of it, the wild child again, like we spoke about before. You know, it's it's exciting to me. It's something I've never done before. Mm -hmm. It's something that. I actually enjoy. I like the glam about it mm -hmm. and the attention of it. Okay. So that, that's what's going through my head right now. Cool, cool. Yeah. Now, where do you what do you want to get out of this business? What do you see yourself uh, achieving in this in this business? Um, I see myself achieving enough money to be able to do my dream, which would be own like my own cat sanctuary like not like big cats you know what i mean like lions tigers cheetahs all that stuff caring for them rehabbing them so i see myself getting a lot of money out of this to okay. be able to do that for myself wow yeah so you want to you want to be around lions and tigers yeah i love animals wow i love them now, cats you, specifically now when you say rehabbing them and getting them but like I, I'm, I'm just, I'm not being funny, but I don't see like lions hanging out on the corner that have been hit by a car. And like, <laughs> well, by rehabbing, know. I mean um, getting them because so many big cats are already extinct mm -hmm. or not extinct, going into extinction or, you know, their species are not as high as they used to be. Sure. Um, so when you get them as babies, you rehab them, you take care of them and, and have them reproduce to where you can 
have a lot more of those animals in the world so that they're not gone forever. Not necessarily rehab, like they get hurt and I rehab them and make them all better, like just kind of raise them okay. and let them be wild. This is a thing, like people can do this? Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. Wow. There's actually one in particular person that I know, that not, I don't know personally, but I follow, keep up on, check up on, and he's a person that inspired me. Wow. So. And how much money does it take to get started doing that? Um, honestly, I don't know, but I would say a lot of money. Sure. It's simply because you need a lot of land. I mean, think about what lions and tigers and cheetahs and all of them eat. You know, meat's, meat's expensive, lots of it. It has to water, time, toys, all that stuff. Yeah. You know? so and I, what age do you raise them to? Uh, I, don't, I don't even know. I would say just to maybe they're like just out of their baby stage. You know, you don't want to... You don't want to make them feel like they're, you, you still want them to feel wild. So you keep them up until like their baby stage and then once they get finally mature and try and get like uh, a sense of how to live, then you let them go and be in the world. I've never even heard of this. So I'm going to have to look this up. Mm -hmm, That's it's interesting. Yeah, it's it's very interesting. interesting. Very interesting. It's okay. Definitely a dream of mine. Cool, cool. All right. And how long have you thought about doing this for? Oh, since forever. Really? Yeah. All right. I've so loved you... animals since, I've always had animals in my life. Okay. So you were going to the zoo and having a great time? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. All right. And so what are you doing for work right now in Florida? Um, right now, I used to be a server. I don't serve anymore. Okay. Um, this is what I tried to make as my job, put all my time and effort into this other than serving. Okay. So that's that's what I was doing and what I'm currently doing now. Okay. So, so, when, I, so when I gave you the call, you're like, I quit. Mm, pretty much. <laughs> I'm not serving like, anything else. I like those numbers. <laughs> I don't want to do these hours anymore. Okay. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Cool, cool. All right, good, good. Now, are you going to be planning on staying out in Miami? Or not Miami, where are you from? Florida. I don't know why I thought of Miami right away. In Florida. It's a great place in Florida. Have you um, been there? Yeah, yeah. I've been there once. Maybe that's why I said it. It's beautiful. Palm trees everywhere. It's just like iconic Florida, you know? Yeah. Water, beaches, sun, palm trees. That is what you think But, yeah, that's, that is what you think of. So that's where I want to be. I want to wake up to that every day. Okay, cool. Have a house on the water and... Mm -hmm. Some lines in the background. Just yeah, hang out. some lines in the background. Yep. Okay. Cool. 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 Interesting. That is very, very interesting. Um, now, when I got the, gave you the call about this, um, were you nervous about, you know, when you were sending your picture, when you were like, are they going to like oh, me? Are they not going to like me? Really? Absolutely. A little bit nervous, but not nervous. It wasn't the type of nervous to where it's like, oh, I don't feel good doing this. It was just, I've never done this before. I'm about to do it. Uh -huh. So, see what happens. Cool. So it was kind of like that nerve. It was enough nerves to push me to do it. That okay. type of thing. Not the nerves to keep me away from it. Gotcha, gotcha. So. And then when I call, you were, I mean, you seem pretty happy about coming out. Yeah, anybody so would be like, thrilled to go to Vegas and get paid to have a good time. Sure, sure. So yeah. why not? Exactly, exactly. So, okay. Now, um, you're comfortable being with the whole naked thing and all that? Absolutely. Been naked in front of strangers before? Absolutely. I'm cool. comfortable with my body. Okay. So. What, what situation were you making in front of, like, strangers? Um, well, for example, I was on, like, a soccer team, mm -hmm. and I did cheerleading. Okay. So being around all those girls all the time, now they're females, but being around girls all the time, you know, and especially in high school, locker rooms, things like that, just always getting undressed, dressed, uh, sleepovers together, showers together, just common living life around those people, it just always felt comfortable. You're going to be most of the time on the sets. It's just going to be guys, you know, mm -hmm. because of the nature of what we're doing. Yeah. You know, so I just want to make sure that you're comfortable in that situation. I mean, know. I feel comfortable. Okay. Like yeah. today, you know, part of this whole experience is getting used to being in front of the lights, being in front of the camera, mm -hmm. you know, so that when you do go to like a normal set, yeah. it's not like, holy shit, the lights it's are not, on. Like, I'm yeah. nervous now, you know. I'm more prepared for it. Yeah, we want to get all that nervous energy out here mm -hmm. where, you know, I can edit it all down and, and make it so that you look great, yeah. no matter what, Thanks. you know. On their set, they'll, you know, I don't want them to call me up and say, hey, we, we booked your girl, what the hell's going on, you know, she's, you know, the lights turn on and she's not coming out of the dressing room, you know, yeah. or, or whatever, you know, so yeah. that sort of thing, so. I mean, okay. walking into this, seeing the lights and the cameras and everything, it's kind of like taken back, but then again, like I can't, like I spoke about before, the attention thing, mm -hmm. I kind of like it, so it's like, well, I don't mind having all the attention on me. That's good though, so you're going to be, you know, ready to rock and roll and have no, no problems with anything. Um, so i uh, got to ask some very explicit sex questions. Okay? What we're doing is sex. Um, how many guys have been with in your life? 
Ten. Okay. That was a, like a spit that number right out. Yep, Girls I know, know it. that number. Okay. I know it. Any one night stands in that ten? Yes. Okay. So you're the the idea of like walking onto a set and just having to have sex with a guy that just showed up is not going to be the biggest deal for you. No. Okay. Good. 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 Um, what age did you start having sex? Thirteen. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Last my virginity at thirteen. Alright. Good. Was yeah. it, it was a pleasurable experience. I'm going to assume. It was. It was with. Um, Somebody I knew very well. Okay. So cool. comfortable with. Cool. So, yeah. All right. Good. Good. Um, and then just had you know boyfriends and a couple. Of fun. He, he stayed my boyfriend for a while. Okay. After we broke up is when I went wild and the other nine other happened. Okay. Yeah. And then the other nine happened. Yeah. <laughs> just line them up. Huh? Yeah. So okay. Cool. 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 Um, and then uh, so what are some things that you like about sex? It's just fun. Okay. Like it's just it feels good. It's a it's a comforting thing, like to be able to not I don't want to say like connect because I'm not really all about that connecting thing. Mm -hmm. But it's like just the act of doing it, like being open enough to explore, be comfortable, make sure this person's feeling good while I'm feeling good at the same time. Mm -hmm. I like that. I get no. It's a it's a fun time. Mm -hmm. I call it adult play time. Yeah, that's know, exactly so, what it is. Yeah. So okay, exactly good. Good. I, I actually like that answer a lot. That's a yes. very logical answer right there. Mm -hmm. It's why do I do this? Because it's fun. <laughs> you know, exactly. that's it. You like uh, giving blowjobs? Oh yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Um, have you pussy eaten? Oh yes. Of yeah. course. I'd like to stay down there for a of minute. Of course. Okay, <laughs> good, good. Um, pretty good. Now I'm going to ask some other questions. Um, you know, we shoot a wide variety of movies in this business. Okay. okay. We'll shoot everything from like just you masturbating to a hundred guy gangbang. You know, so um, what I want to do is just be able to lock you into the area that you're comfortable with. All right. Part of my job is to make sure when you go to your set, you're comfortable, you're happy, you have a great time, and you know everything goes wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, you ever masturbate? Yeah. Okay. Use toys when you masturbate? Yeah. Okay. Good. You'll be fine doing that on camera. Oh yeah. Great. Ever been with a girl before? Yes. Okay. Fine doing that on camera. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You like girls? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, any limit to how many girls I can put you in a movie with? No limit of females. Just get them in there and mm -hmm. have the time of your life? Yep. Okay. Um, sex with a guy on camera is okay? Absolutely. Um, you ever had a threesome? With another girl? Yeah. Yeah. Done that? Okay. Yeah. You're okay doing that on camera? Yeah. Great. Uh, you ever been with you guys before? Nope. Okay. Would you ever like to do that? Nope. Never ever? Never ever. Okay. I, I kind of figured that you might have wanted to try this because you like to be controlled. You know, it might be like two guys going at you. might. Be something you'd enjoy, but eh. mm. I don't know why it just rubs me the wrong way. Okay. Well, listen. If at any time you're like, you know what, I changed my mind. I, I, I do want to try that. You know, mm. you just call me up. Maybe the longer, you know, sure. I'm in the sure. industry, the longer I get comfortable with it. Maybe certain talent I know. Yeah. That might be a. Uh, listen, we're gonna start you off with just a guy and a girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some solo stuff, maybe some girl girl stuff. You know. You dip, we're going to be dipping your toe in here, okay? okay. Um, you are you are a very attractive girl. Thank we're you. not going to need to push the envelope right away to get you jobs. Mm -hmm. You know, people are going to see you and like, yeah, I, I want to hire Michelle for, for, you know, I got 10 scenes for, I got 5 scenes for, whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's going to be easy to do at the, at the beginning, okay? We don't need, we don't need to stretch everything and, 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 you know, box it all up yeah. and, and get it going, you know? Yeah. So. Ease um, it in there. Yeah, exactly. So that's, that's perfect though. We're going to be just fine. Um, any questions for me regarding any of the, uh, what's going to be going on, any of the scenes you're going to be doing? Mm, I mean, I would honestly say, as a producer, you've let me know just about everything. Cool. Can't think of anything I could ask. Awesome.